Well, here we go. I'm going to give you a preview of what's going on with my antique jet ski. All right, here we go. This is the head, of course. And I'm, the way I'm speaking is if I'm talking to someone that knows nothing about this. So if you know all about this kind of stuff, just ignore the way I'm speaking like I'm speaking to a three-year-old. But I've cleaned the, the gasket, the head gasket off of here, what residual bits and pieces were on here. I, I scraped them off. Uh, I was careful not to scratch it. I scraped them off with this. And... Uh, and then I cleaned the surface with this Scotch, Scotch Bright uh, non-scratch pad, and I also cleaned. Uh, there's the spark plug in the center. Also clean these valves. These are the intakes. Uh, these open in simultaneously, and then the exhausts they open simultaneously, and they got a little bit more carbon on them, and that's because when the fuel comes in, it does, it's not it doesn't it's not burnt. When it goes out here, it's burnt, and that's so you get carbon. So the fuel comes in here, it's clean. So I polished all this up. These, these are the, this is the water jacket. This is where the cooling, the coolant, which is water. This is where the coolant goes, passes through here and takes, gathers, uh, absorbs the heat, absorbs the heat, and then it takes it out through the, uh, takes it out of the back of the, uh, takes it out of the engine. Okay, I don't want to make this too long, so let's go over here and look at this. I haven't cleaned this up yet, but this is a. Uh, this is the block, okay, and you can see the four cylinders and the, uh, I see the places where the, uh, the pistons are molded so that the, uh, they don't hit the, uh, the valves and, uh, oh, that's got to be, I'll clean all that off of there and make it shiny, but, uh, wanted to show you this water jacket, uh, here, this is all the water jacket, this is where the coolant this sort of coolant goes all around the cylinder, goes this path right here, and goes around and it absorbs the heat off of that cylinder wall. Of course, this is where the this is where the fire is in here, and this is where the coolant is out here absorbing the heat. After it uh, absorbs the heat, then it goes uh, out of the engine. It goes out of the engine over here. Here's the exhaust over here on a on a trip. Okay, there's exhaust right there, and there's coolant paths. There's a well, there's a small coolant path. There's just one little coolant path coming out. That's interesting. Okay, there's oh, there's there's another coolant path on the top of the engine here, here, right there. No, it's right here. That's a coolant path. There's a pipe that comes out the top of the engine. Okay, so that's that. That's where the flow, the coolant flow goes in. What I wanted to show you, which is, there's an anode that goes right in here. It's called a sacrificial anode. And what it, I don't know scientifically how, the chemistry of how it works, but um, corrosion, it corrodes, it sacrifices itself, and it corrodes prior to the engine parts corroding. And back here, you can't see it, but back in here, there's there's no corrosion. Back in this part of the, the uh, coolant all back in this water jacket back here. There's no corrosion, but when you get up towards the front of the engine, and again you can't let's see if I can hold it, get it focused. I don't know. I don't know if you that's focused or not. But um, there's corrosion all on the outside wall of that cylinder, and then when you get over here, the corrosion is so bad. Oh, I know you can't see that there. That's better. Hey, you can see where that corrodes. There's a big pit right there, a big hole. It's working its way through that cylinder wall. So uh, when it breaks, when it gets, uh, when it breaks through, that uh, that'll ruin the engine. So, anyways, there's some time before that happens. It won't happen fast, but it will eventually happen. So that's that, and I'll cut this off. So just wanted to show you that, and away we go. Where's the off switch? Off switch.